yeah! New product time, baby! Yeah, I'm talking about the new product today. My name is Eric Van Holtz. I am the founder of Beard Brand. I hope all is going well on the other side of the internet. And we're going to talk about a little bit of new goodness here up in the Beard Brand office. Well, what do we have here, boys? We got something quite spectacular that we've been working on for months and months and months, and it's finally here to bring you the new goodness. What am I talking about? Woo! Beard oil. You guys know beard oil. Like, Beard Brand was built on beard oil. It's been a product we've been selling since day number one. We're well known for it. Our beard oil is lightweight. Won't weigh your beard down and whoo, smells phenomenal. But you know what? Beard brand, phenomenal's not good enough. We need better than phenomenal. So what did we do? We got back to the drawing board. So how can we make this product better? How can we make it last longer? How can we make it easier for y'all to understand the differences between all the different fragrances? So we got back to the drawing board and we got Got a rockin', you know? So before I talk about our new product, I kinda wanna talk about the history of our beard oils, where they came from, how they're formulated, all that jazz. History time, guys. Get your pens and pencils ready. Time to take some notes. So we started off with the silver line. The silver line is Tree Ranger, Spice Citrus, Tea Tree. Each of those fragrances were the ideas of the three founders of Beard Brand. So Tree Ranger was my own, Spice Citrus was Lindsay's, and Tea Tree was Jeremy's. At the time, um, we really didn't know much about this business at all. We didn't know how large it would grow. We didn't know how much our customers would love the products that we were making. So we were playing around with a lot of different options. So the names are the big options, right? Tree Ranger is this kind of idea. Uh, it goes back to uh, one of my friends who was a forester in Washington, and I could not, for the life of me, remember his, his occupation. So I'm like, what are you, some kind of like a tree ranger or something? And then it was like at that moment, I'm like, man, I just love that word. Like this is a great way to describe a product that's a woodsy fragrance product. And then we went with more of a descriptive and more of an ingredient-based option. So Spice Citrus really describes the fragrance there. Spicy, citrusy, we use clove, we use some citrus tones in there. And then tea tree. Uh, tea tree is not like any other tea tree out there. That's not the only fragrance in there. Tea tree paired with some peppermint and a little bit of vanilla to kind of mellow it out. It's a great fresh scent. And we're kind of playing around with those. So we started with the Silver Line and really got a lot of good traction in there. A lot of customers loved how our Beard oils were lightweight, they weren't weighing down your beard, it wasn't making it too shiny. The fragrance wasn't like all in your face and, and like for the whole room, like you could put something on your mustache and like wear it all day long without getting headaches. So Beard Brand really grew from an excellent product there. Then we, what we did is we grew the line out from the silver line. With the gold line, our first gold line product was our four vices. And when we formulated this product, the Gold Line, we wanted to have really like the most exquisite product we could find. So we searched near and dear for all the essential oils, all the, the base ingredients, and we developed with what we knew at the time as the pinnacle beard oil, the nicest beard oil that we could have. Uh, we were using the finest base ingredients, argan oil, uh, jojoba oil were kind of like the primary oils in there. And then with the fragrances, we went after like the exotic fragrances. So like four vices, you got tobacco, cannabis, hops, and a little bit of coffee in there. So that was the start of the gold line. And then the white line was our value line. So we formulated that base to be very simple. Uh, grapeseed oil was one of the primary uh, oils in there. And then we also had more basic uh, fragrances. In fact, our first line of the white line was Blank Slate, which was completely fragrance free. Now, fast forward, uh, what are we in 2020? All the way uh, like seven years into the future. 
And we've grown the gold line out. We've added, of course, Temple Smoke was next. And then we added Old Money after that. For a brief period of time, we had another fragrance called Urban Garden. You got old school followers. We'll know Urban Garden. It was kind of like this uh, anise uh, fragrance, kind of like licorice. And then uh, we just came out with Stone Mason. So that's kind of been like the history of beard brand beard oils. And what we've done is we've complemented those beard oils with different products like the Utility Balm, Styling Balm, Beard Wash, Beard Softener, Shampoo, Conditioner, Utility Bar. Woo-wee! I usually forget one, but I think I nailed them all there. Nah, sea salt spray. And mustache wax. So the, the beard brand beard oil, it was, um, let me tell you, man, it was the bee's knees. Well, I, let me say, it is the bee's knees. It's still the bee's knees. With all that rambling, all that history, what does that mean? What is the new product? Can you guess? Yeah, you guessed it. I know you guessed it. You know what I'm talking about. What have I been talking about? Beard oil. This is what has been taken the world by storm. This, my friends, is what will be taking the world by storm. Like a year ago, I got the idea for this product. What we wanted to do is reformulate our beard oil to maintain the same performance in terms of like light weightness, in terms of like fragrance strength. But what we wanted to do is figure out how to make the product last longer so your beard will stay softer longer. And in addition to that, we wanted to formulate it with oils that have been known to not affect your DHT. Now DHT is dihydrogen testosterone. I'm sure I pronounced that or said that wrong, but uh, DHT is essentially like the, the hormone in your body that affects beard growth. And we, we now personally, I don't, I don't fall into the camp that applying topical oils is going to get into your skin and going to affect your DHT. So I don't want you to think of this as any kind of growth oil or make any kind of bold claims that your beard is going to come in thicker. We just were aware of some ingredients that may have made an effect on your DHT levels. Personally, I haven't seen the studies and science to back that up, but better safe than sorry. So we had two big things that we wanted to do when we rolled this out, make it DHT friendly and make it softer and better. I should add, uh, there's one other thing we want to do. One other thing we want to do, we wanted to make it harder for all the generics to keep up with us. So we also got new packaging in here. Oh, I keep, keep on forgetting. There's another thing, another thing we wanted to do. So our white line, our silver line, our gold line, all the bases were different. And this really confused a lot of our customers because essentially every other product had the same base formulation. And it was just a fragrance that was different. And that's how we would tell people. So we'd say, hey man, like this, this product has same base formula, different fragrance, go with the fragrance that fits your budget and kind of fits your own preferences. Whereas beard oil was, because it was like our first product, we had one base for white line, one base for silver line, and one base for gold line. And they're all different bases. And that's why there's like a, a higher discrepancy of prices between the gold line and the white line. Now, what we've done, the fourth thing we did, was we wanted to unify that base. Just have one amazing base for all different fragrances. So, what's really cool about that is because we're producing all of our oils now with the same base, we've been able to save a couple of dollars. So, uh, I'm not gonna tell you what that price is because you might be a little bit surprised, but I would encourage you guys to head over to the Beard Brand uh, website, beardbrand.com. Go ahead, check out our beard oil listing. There's a link down in the comments that will take you straight to the beard oil page. You can see what the new prices are and you can see how we have not only just completely, I mean, let's be real, this product is getting destroyed. It's getting absolutely destroyed by this new product. So this brings me to another thing that some of you may or may not know about Beard Brand, is that we never rest on our laurels. We never sit back and just kind of let things be. We are always iterating, testing, tweaking. A lot of these iterations kind of happen 
without a big announcement or a big to do. Like for instance, our four vices has the, the fragrance we've evolved so much based on the feedback we're getting from our customers, based on the expectations, the performance, and based on our abilities to produce it at larger and larger volumes as we grow. So the really old school guys, those people who bought the first four vices that we produced way back in 2014, they'll be the first to tell you that it no longer smells like it did on day number one. And, you know, like, if you're the type of guy who wants the same thing to stay the same all day long, we're really not that company. Because we're always trying to get better, get better, get better, get better. Same goes with our utility bomb. You may have noticed if you bought from that, from us early in the days, like, there's really a, a big chance that the utility bomb you got had grains in it. And what we've done is we iterated, iterated, tweaked the formula, tweaked the formula, find different suppliers, keep on making it better. So now when you go and you get a utility bomb, there's a really good chance that you're never gonna to have to deal with any kind of beatings in the product. Now, it still has shea butter in there. The shea butter product we have in there, I believe is a really refined, high-end shea butter product. And that's the reason or why we're not dealing with as many grains as we've got in the past. But those are things that, that we just do all the time. So the beard oil launch is really like one of the big ones for us because we've been working on it a long time. We got brand new packaging for it. We've upped the quality of the base oils. We've been able to produce a larger base formulation and pass those savings on to you guys. Check it out at beardbrand.com. Get them while they last. This first batch is probably going to go pretty quickly. As always, thanks for watching. Cheers. Keep on growing. Dude, you want simplicity? Grab the Styling Balm. It's designed for your hair and your beard. It will give a satin finish with a medium hold. No, it's not a conditioning product. It's a styling product. Styling Balm over at beardbrand.com.